it's time for the Yeah Games. Unfortunately, it can only go up to 48 mascots out of the 72, so we've had to cut some and just have the best of the best here. I wish that it was center. I do, but it's not. I'm going to have to fix that in post, probably. Anyway, it is time for the Yeah Games. We are going to pit these mascots head hooker. Head. I hope it's been a minute. Uh, if not, I, I guess it doesn't matter. We're pitting these bi bitches head to head. All of these guys gonna go up and murder the hell out of each other. Now is the time to place your bets. Now is the time, right here, right now, place your bets. No cheating. Nobody's gonna be, like, checking your notes, because there's no way to prove that you didn't just do whatever you said. Who cares? I personally think that it's gonna go to either Blue Wizard, Hardcore Ocean, Overkill Dragon, Sands, or Brax. They are all overpowered, and we all know it. It's time. It's time. Let's do it. We begin! Uh, actually, I'm gonna zoom this in. That'll solve my problem right there. As the tributes stand on their poniums, the horn sounds. Overkill Dragon runs away from the cornucopia. He doesn't need anything from it. He's going to just burn in the lands for the landscape. It's going to be fine. He knows what he's doing. In a minute, I will switch from the song to some random NES garbage because I don't want to play this the whole time. Cookie Demon grabs a shovel for his own grave, probably. Mikami runs away from the cornucopia. DJ Indy also and the genie. Nova from Power Blade and Toejam fight for a bag. Nova somehow loses, probably because he was grossed out by the alien. Penis Compass runs away, floats away from the cornucopia. Sparkster runs away. SpongeBob, RoboCop, Bub, all running away. Brax grabs a backpack and retreats. Super Businessman runs away with a lighter and some rope. Idol finds a bag full of explosives. That's gonna end poorly. The Super snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. That's... why would... You better have a lot of prep time if all you're grabbing is a Molotov cocktail. Sans finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Nice. Link runs away. He's already got a sword anyway. Felina runs away. Space Elf running away. Death scares old guy away from the cornucopia, because he's about that... it's about that time for him, you know? It's about that time. I wish they were on the other side, though. Ranting guy kills Dynamite Heady for his supplies. Wow, Dynamite's already down. Dynamite Heady, that is. Dynamite's right there. Jackie Chan runs away. Blue Wizard snatches a pair of size. That's pretty hardcore. Dynamite grabs a shovel. The Animaniacs run away with, from the cornucopia. Tempo grabs a jar of fishing bait while the finger of choice gets fishing gear. Are they working together? Hmm. Man Train Ninja grabs a backpack and retreats. Radical Rex finds a canteen of water. I wonder if anyone's gonna die of starvation on day one. Sonic runs away. Weird Al runs away. Mega Man, a baby seal, and Simon Belmont get into a fight. Simon Belmont triumphantly kills them both. <laughs> He's literally clubbing a baby. They're both clubbing the baby seal from both ends! But then he killed Mega Man too afterwards. Good lord. Simon Belmont doesn't screw around. He's also a contender, to be honest. He's up there. He's in the top six. Hardcore Ocean runs away. George Foreman runs away. Kirby and an erotic air sofa for one fight for a bag. The erotic air sofa, unable to deal with Kirby's ultimate power, retreats. Robot Unicorn runs away. Mario gathers as much food as he can. Tarchan runs away with a lighter and some rope. Joe Taro runs away. Clock runs away, Cheetahman run away, and Kaiju runs away. And that is how this all begins. We've already had three murders. Day one begins on the Yeah Games. Even this says Hunger Games, I didn't change them. Don't know if I could, but I'm sorry. Uh, Radical Rex sparks through Toejam and Bub a hunt for the other tributes. Super Business Man searches for a water source. Supers scare Overkill Dragon off. Somehow, Man Train Ninja is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Not very ninja-like of you. Robot Unicorn and Brax work together for the day. 
Now I am imagining Brax riding the unicorn. That's incredible. Old guy Mario. Split up to search for resources. Are they working together? Cheetahman dies from an infection. The failed experiment living up to his name. He could not dance his way out of this. Dynamite discovers a cave. Saints travels to higher ground. SpongeBob discovers a river. Simon Belmont collects fruit from a tree. No wall chicken today? Ranting guy sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Probably because it would screw with his asthma. Link construction constructs a shack. Clock chases Mikami. Get back here! You stole my flag! DJ Indy makes a slingshot. Oh, I'm still playing the song, I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? It's kind of fitting, but no, we're gonna go to the NES stuff now. Which may not be fitting. If it's not, oh well. I can barely hear it, because I'm not using headphones right now. Sonic receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Kaiju receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Those must be really big. The Finger of Choice receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Felina discovers a cave. Hardcore Ocean receives a hatchet. It doesn't need one. Penis Compass, Animaniacs, Nova, George Foreman, Ray, Jackie, Can Chan's camp while he is hunting. Death throws a knife into Space Elf's chest. Jesus. I didn't think the Space Elf would last long, but that's pretty brutal. It didn't say he died, though. Robocop receives medical supplies from his himself. He just had them built in. Let's be honest. Tempo steals from Idol. Well, oops, I forgot to put that back to she. She isn't looking. I think that's the only female in this entire list. That's why. Jotaro stalks Blue, Riz Blue Wizard. Kirby attacks Weird Al, but he manages to escape with the piano. Cookie Demon hunts for other tributes. Genie and Tarchan work together. And the erotic air sofa for one searches for firewood. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance for our death. Uh, our deaths mostly in the intro. Dynamite Heady, goodbye. Mega Man, goodbye. The poor baby seal, clubbed to death from two ends. Cheetah Man. And Space Elf definitely died from that from that knife. Death. Taking him out early. An easy target. We must continue. DJ Indy and Jotaro holds hands. Oh, are they gonna kiss in the cave? Wait, they didn't discover the cave. Nova, Tarchan, Idol, and Sonic sleep in shifts. Brax tends to his wounds that he did not get. Sans fends Felina, Blue Wizard, and Super Businessman away from his fire. Hardcore Ocean dies from hunger. There it is. There it is. Day one death from hunger. Why did it have to be Hardcore Ocean, though? The Hardcore Ocean is nothing. It, it nothing it doesn't have to eat. It should have been immortal. What I'm going to actually chalk that up to is that it has not rained and it has just seeped into the ground. SpongeBob defeats Cookie Demon in a fight, but spares his life. Bob loses sight of where he is. The finger of choice goes to sleep. The supers receive clean water from an unknown sponsor. Dynamite and Jackie Chan tell stories about themselves to each other. Old guy tracks down and kills Robocop. Holy shit. You getting murder on the first night is your destiny. Tempo looks at the night sky. Penis Compass attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Man Train Ninja cooks his food before putting his fire out. Plock loses sight of where he is. Mario defeats the genie in a fight, but spares his life. How? How did you do that? Link and Erotic Air Sofa for One talk about the tributes still alive. Hey, Erotic Air Sofa for One. I see that you're here looking at the stars, too. Let's talk, like, can you believe that literally almost everyone is still alive after day one? That's crazy. Let's talk about everyone behind their back. I'm definitely not going to stab a hole in you and make you deflate. Sparkster lets the Animaniacs into his shelter. Death is awoken by nightmares of killing a poor defenseless space elf. Mikami starts a fire. Weird Al begs for George Foreman to kill him. He refuses, keeping Weird Al alive. Why did you want to die so bad? Toe Jam dies, trying to escape the arena. Kirby starts a fire. Simon Belmont loses sight. Robot Unicorn defeats Kaiju, but spares his life. A lot of that going on tonight. How 
Well, actually, I mean, that, that makes sense a little bit. Uh, ranting guy and radical Rex hold hands. Overkill dragon tries to treat his infection, but again he shouldn't have, it's day one! Jackie Chan, Mario, Dynamite, and Plot raid Sonic's camp while he is hunting. The genie defeats Kirby, but spares his life. Tempo old guy Radical Rex successfully ambush and kill ranting guy Cookie Demon and overkill dragon! Radical Rex is more powerful than we thought. Link stalks Jotaro. Mantrain Ninja, Robot Unicorn, and Kaiju hunt for other tributes. George Foreman chases the finger of choice. The supers tends to Mikami's wounds. The Animaniacs think about home. I wanna go home! Felina discovers a river. Bob pushes death off of a cliff during a knife fight! Did he get the knife back out of the Space Elf's chest? Super Businessman discovers a cave. Nova searches for a water source. Weird Al injures himself playing the piano, probably. Penis Compass sprains his ankle? No, you got you got a, your balls smacked on something. That's not an ankle. Sands goes hunting. Blue Wizard poisons SpongeBob's drink, but mistakes it for his own and dies! How? SpongeBob, what tomfoolery did you make happen here? This is definitely a SpongeBob level, like, goof that just happened. SpongeBob was not even aware of what he was doing, but accidentally swapped the drinks. And then he felt like it was his fault after he after Blue Wizard died. Erotic Air Sofa for one, travels to higher ground. Tarchan discovers a cave, Sparkster ambushes Simon Belmon and murders the fuck out of him. All my picks are dying! Brax sprains his an ankle while running away from DJ Endy. Good lord, we've lost Hardcore Ocean, Robocop, Toe Jam, Ranting Guy, Cookie Demon, Overkill Dragon, Death, Blue Wizard, Simon Belmont! This is crazy! Let's check out everybody's status at the moment. Two days in, this is where we stand. Alright, we continue to the next day, or, well, the night, actually. Alright, we've we've got Super Businessman, Idol, and the Genie getting into a fight. The Genie triumphantly kills them both. There goes the Idol. So much for those explosives you got. The Animaniacs receive clean water from an unknown sponsor. The Finger of Choice loses sight. Mikami sets an explosive off. I guess you stole... Oh, that's right, no, somebody did steal from Idol earlier, it wasn't... Was it? Well, Bob's dead. In either case, he has been blown the fuck to Kingdom Come. Jackie Chan loses sight. Supers receive an explosive from Mikami, their unknown sponsor. SpongeBob shoots an arrow he didn't have at DJ Indy, but misses and kills Nova instead. Again, that is something SpongeBob would end up doing. Well, Tempo attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Plock receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Sparkster begs for Old Guy to kill him, but he refuses. You just literally murdered someone in cold blood like 10 minutes ago. Mario cooks his food before putting his fire out. Man Train Ninja ex receives an explosive from Mikami again. Tarchan lets George Foreman into his shelter. Brax and Felina run into each other and decide to truce for the night. You are also a man. I forgot you too. I forgot to change those at this last second. Kirby screams for help! Boyo! Weird Al climbs into a tree to rest, his piano coming with him. Erotic Air Sofa for one receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Jotaro convinces Sans to snuggle with him. That's not a pairing I was expecting. Sonic goes to sleep. Link passes out. Kaiju, Penis Compass, and Robot Unicorn discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Radical Rex stays awake all night. Legendary! Dynamite re receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. The Genie practices his archery. Tarchan and Makani fight Jackie Chan and Radical Rex. Jackie Chan and Radical Rex survive. I suppose that means Tarchan and Makami are fucking dead. There goes another one! All my picks! Penis Compass receives an explosive, again, from Mikami. It's not unknown who this sponsor is. Robot Unicorn stalks Tempo. 
Erotic Air Sofa for one attacks Weird Al, but he manages to escape. Jotaro picks flowers for Sans. Sans searches for firewood for Jotaro. The Finger of Choice DJ Andy and Kaiju hunt for other tributes. Link picks flowers. Old Guy and Plot split up to search for resources. Cur Kirby chases Brax. The Supers think about home. Mantrain Ninja searches for firewood. Sparkster scares Dynamite off. Sonic discovers a river. Mario spears SpongeBob in the abdomen! Brutal! George Foreman receives an explosive from Mikami. She's just throwing them everywhere. Felina strangles the Animaniacs with a rope! While running, Plock falls over. Wait, arena event. I don't know what that means. Monkey mutts fill the area. Okay. Just read the words, friend. We've got monkey mutts! While running, Plock falls over and grabs Mantain Train Ninja on the way down. The monkey mutts kill them both! Penis Compass is pummeled to the ground and killed by a troop of monkey mutts. Kirby survives. Sans injures the supers and leaves them for the monkey mutts. Mario survives. George Foreman injures Chucky Chan and leaves him for the monkey mutts. Kaiju survives. The Finger of Choice survives. Weird Al uses dynamite as a shield from the monkey mutts. While running, the genie falls over and grabs the erotic air sofa. No! They died in a, a, a pile of erotic lust with the monkey mutts, no doubt. Rax is pummeled to the ground and killed by a troop of monkey mutts. Not another one! I think all of my picks are dead. Link survives, Sonic, Felina, DJ, Tempo survive. While running, Radical Rex falls over and grabs Sparkster, and now they're both dead. Old Guy survives. Robot Unicorn injures Jotaro and leaves him for dead. So many deaths! Jesus! Cannon shots for all of our fallen mascots. People die when they are killed. This is not fitting music! So at this moment, we have Mario, Kirby, Link, Sonic, Felina, the Finger of Choice, DJ Indy, the old guy. He can see the destiny of people, so that makes sense. Tempo, George Foreman, Kaiju, not surprisingly, and Sans, not surprisingly at all. I am now thinking Sans might win, or the fortune teller. All of my picks have died. All of them. Did anybody else in the comments see this happening? Did anybody call that this would be the, the way it went? Link tries to sing himself to sleep. DJ Indy, re Indy receives clean water. Kaiju sees a fire but stays hidden. What? <laughs> Are you just holding a tree up, up in front of your face? Old Guy and Sonic hold hands. Robot Unicorn goes to sleep. Weird Al fends Tempo the Finger Choice and Felina away from his fire. George Foreman and Mario talk about the tribute still alive. Kirby climbs a tree to rest. Sans receives an explosive from... Mikami's corpse, I guess. Here we are! It's time for the feast! The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Weird Isle decides not to go to the feast. Link cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide! Oh boy! I can't wait to stab myself in the chest! Sans, Sonic, Mario, and DGA Inde... In I keep saying Inde. I can't help it. Uh, track down and kill Felina! Felina has been defeated! Robot Unicorn decides not to go. Finger of Choice doesn't go. Kaiju stuffs a bundle of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. Tempo doesn't go. Kirby catches Old Guy off guard and kills him! George Foreman does not go. Weird Al constructs a shack. Now on day four. Robot Unicorn stabs Tempo while his back is turned. With his horn, no doubt. Jesus! Mario sprains his ankle while running away from Kirby! DJ Indy searches for firewood. The Finger of Choice sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Sonic explores the arena. Sans kills Kaiju with a hatchet! Jesus Christ, Sans! That probably took forever. George Foreman practices his archery. Five cannon shots, heard in the distance as Link, Felina, Old Guy, Tempo, and Kaiju fall! 
Sans is the only one that can win this at this rate. We have Mario, Kirby, Sonic, Robot Unicorn, The Finger of Choice, DJ Indy, George Foreman, Weird Al, and Sans. Sans, the fan favorite, overpowered since the beginning. Night 4 begins with The Finger of Choice, Weird Al, Sonic, and DJ Indy all telling each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Sans sees a fire but stays hidden. Mario forces George Foreman to kill Robot Unicorn or Kirby. He refuses to kill, so Mario kills him instead. Mario has lost his fucking mind! Sans, the finger of choice, Mario, Sonic, and Kirby hunt for other tributes. Robot Unicorn thinks about home. Porn. Porn. <laughs> DJ Indy scares Weird Al off. George Foreman is dead. Night 5. DJ Indy fends Weird Al, Sonic, and Mario away from his fire. You've been doing that a lot, I think. The finger of choice climbs a tree to rest. Sans stays awake all night. Not a problem, since he doesn't probably sleep. Robot Unicorn tends to his wounds. And Kirby falls into a pit and dies. That's not something. Wait, maybe it was a bottomless pit. Weird Al picks flowers. DJ Indy is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Mario dies from hypothermia. The finger of choice explores the arena. Sonic tends to Robot Unicorn's wounds. Sans picks flowers, probably with Weird Al. They're talking to each other, no doubt. Kirby and Mario are down! Sonic, Robot Unicorn, Finger of Choice, DJ Indy, Weird Al, and Sans remain. Robot Unicorn severely slices Sans with a sword! Holy shit, where'd you get the sword? Did that kill him? Is Sans dead? It might be. DJ Indy questions his sanity, don't we all? Weird Al passes out from exhaustion. The Finger of Choice receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Sonic does too. Sonic is unable to convince DJ Inde not to kill him. I said Inde again. Sonic's dead. It looks like Sans is dead. Weird Al camouflages himself in the bushes. The Finger of Choice's trap kills Robot Unicorn! Sans has been defeated. Sonic and Robot Unicorn are also down. We are down to the wire here. The finger of choice, DJ Indy, and Weird Al. Who will be the victor? At this point, I'm putting my money on Weird Al. I've lost it like three times at this point. The finger of choice sees a fire, but stays Indy. It stays Indy? DJ Indy quietly hums. Weird Al questions his sanity. The finger of choice receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. DJ Indy is unable to convince Weird Al not to kill him. It's down to Weird Al and the finger of choice. Goodbye, DJ Indy. You made it into the final three. The finger of choice accidentally steps on a landmine. We have our winner. He didn't even have to kill the finger of choice. The finger of choice did it for him. Weird Al has won it all. Weird Al defeated everybody else. Incredible. In the end, these are our standings. Finger of choice in second place, DJ ND in third, Sans was in sixth. Who had the most kills? Old guy. Nope, Radical Rex killed five. Yep, Radical Rex was the most brutal of them all. Weird Al, however, emerges victorious in this battle to the death with all of these other mascots. And in last place, Dynamite Hetty, who failed to do anything at all. Just They just died of whatever. They got killed immediately, if I recall. And uh, special shout out to Hardcore Ocean for dying of hunger on day one. What a fight. What a battle this was. The bloodbath summary. Look at this. I'm not going to read all this, but you can if you want. There it is. We've had our little Hunger Games mascot battle royale. 
districts don't matter because they were all just individual mascots and I couldn't take the district off. Oh, well, it told me this. I could have just come to this page for this. Man, everybody killed at least someone. No, never mind. A lot of people didn't kill someone. I thought for a second that they would list the zeros. That's just everybody else that's not there, of course. All right! That was fun. A nice little distraction. I hope you enjoyed our fight. The Yeah games are now over. Weird Al is the true legend. Nice music to end with. Do, 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 do. Weird Al did kill them all. He's the best. 